Hi everybody, this is Daryl with the Into the Dark Room support team. Uh, this is a quick video tutorial on how to create advanced sets uh, using your FTP uh, to set up large files or categories uh, in VET. Uh, the first thing that's going to be a necessity is that you have some form of FTP client. For those of you who do not already have something, uh, what I would like you to do is just go ahead to this link, filezilla-project.com. Org. Uh, and this is a program called FileZilla. It's fa uh, fairly easy to use um, that you can uh, ship your files over with. Uh, once you go to this link, uh, you'll get to a page just like this. You'll want to go ahead and click on the Download FileZilla Client. Uh, and then there's a bunch of options in here for different uh, users. There's Windows users on top, Mac users. Um, if you're a Windows user, so, so obviously just go ahead and pick up whatever option that you prefer. Um, once you've done that uh, and gone through the general setup, uh, it will load a program that looks just like this. Um, and one, uh, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log in using your FTP information. If you're not familiar with what your FTP information is, uh, please contact your hosting company as they will be able to provide that for you. Um, I've already gone ahead and put all my information in. My username, uh, I'm sorry, my host name just happens to be my domain name, my username, and my password. Once you're in the program itself, um, it's broken up into a couple different areas. This area that's located over here on the left are all the files for your computer. The files on the right over here are everything that's on your server. Um, so I have downloaded my version of Vend into this um, folder here called Store. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. I'm at this point going to go ahead and click on um, the Vend Proofing Data. As you can see, I already have a folder in here named Uploads, but you do not uh, for the first time being here. So what you're going to do uh, is you can right click and go to create directory and I just want you to go ahead and just you're going to type in uploads and click OK. It's going to create this folder specifically for you. The reason we're creating this folder here is that we are going to uh, eventually move a file from our desktop over to this folder here. So the next step is it actually going to we're going to go into Vend, and we are going to create a set. So from here, we're just going to click on New, and we're going to name it whatever. So I'm just going to say Jack and Jill. And you're going to click Advance and Create Set. If you've already done this, then what you'll just want to do is click on Jack and Jill, or whatever you've named it. And you're going to go to zip file. The system automatically will tell you what to name your file when you create it. So for me, it's going to be c01d.zip. So the first thing, so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go and create this file. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to um, create a folder new and I'm not going to name it anything I'm just going to leave it its default as a new folder I'm going to go ahead and open it up though and as you can see the folder is going to be empty what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some uh, photos that I have here um, and obviously you're going to have a bunch of photos as well uh, so what you're going to do is you're just going to go in and create take a bunch of your photos if, and just move them into this particular folder. So I'm moving in about 216 photos, so it's going to take a little a bit of time. Let's bear with me on that. Also here is if you're going to create categories in the system, um, let's say if you're doing a wedding and there's getting ready photos and then there's a reception and the ceremony and you're going to break everything up, you're going to do this in this process as well. Um, so then one thing that we can do is when it does when it's done transferring the photos is create individual folders folders within this main folder. So uh, it's almost done. Perfect. All right. 
so what I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and create a folder real quick just so you can see and this is going to be uh, reception and I'm just going to move a bunch of these files in here just pretending that they're for the reception and they'll transfer in there so when you click in there you'll see a bunch of photos in here already for you all right, so uh, now that we have all the files that are all in here for the wedding, um, I am going to go back to my desktop. And this folder is now ready to um, be uh, zipped up and sent over to my server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click and I'm going to send to and then we're going to compress zip folder again we're not changing the name anything yet um, so we're just going to go ahead and zip it up uh, it's going to take a few seconds here uh, once it's done we will be able to uh, transfer the files in so let's just give it a second here Right, now that the file is actually done um, zipping up, it created this little icon here on my desktop. It's going to be different for different people depending on you know which version of Windows they're using or Mac or whatever. Um, so at this point, we're going to name this file uh, exactly what Ben uh, wanted you to name it. Uh, for me, uh, it was this uh, C01D.zip. I'm just going to copy it and go here and name it this. So now I have a zip file of all of these photos. So now we're going to go ahead and move this particular file into our uh, onto our server. So we're going to go ahead and open up FileZilla again. And there's a button up here that's got a blue arrow pointing to the right and a green arrow pointing to the left. Go ahead and uh, click on that. This is going to refresh it for you. Um, so now you can, you should be able to see uh, your zip file here. Um, oops. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this file. And we are going to just click on it, hold it, left click and hold, and then just drag it over to the right side. Uh, remember that you just want to be in your uploads file. So, again, how we got there, just to uh, reiterate, we're going to, I, I have mine at store, and you're going to go to then proofing data, and then uploads, because the file that you created. There won't, there shouldn't be anything in here. Again, you're going to go back to the left hand side, you're going to uh, click on it, you're going to left click and hold, and you're going to drag it over. At this point, then uh, at this point your FTP client is going to start transferring all the data in and you will see uh, that information being uh, transferred in uh, via this area right here. It does take some time since there's you know, either larger files or just the sheer amount of them. Uh, it does take some time for this to transfer in. Uh, so we're just going to give this some time for it to do what it needs to do and we'll get back to this uh, when it gets done. Now that the file has uh, gotten done and moved into uh, over onto the right hand side, you'll see that it does have the file name here. At this point, what we're going to do is go back over to Bend and we are going to click on the button at the bottom of the screen uh, that says verify zip file. Basically what it's going to do is uh, check to see if this file is in the exact location on the server. It's going to look in the store folder, in the Venn proofing data folder, and then the uploads folder for this particular file. Because we know the file is in here, it automatically loaded in all my files that were in here. Um, and if you recall, I created one that said reception, uh, so there's a, a large number of files in here. So at this point, we can uh, look on the right-hand side under all sets and click preview if you wanted, and you'll see a preview of all the files and the categories. But this is how you create a, um, an, 
how you create uh, an FTP file uh, and uh, send the files over via FTP. So if you do have any questions about this process uh, or if you get stuck, uh, please feel free to give us a call, open a support ticket, or email us at customer.service at into the darkroom.com. Again, that is customer.service at into the darkroom.com. Thanks and have a good day.